Someone asked me once if I had my life to live over, would I change anything? And I said no, but then I got to thinking about it. Maybe I would have waxed less and listened more. Maybe I would have invited friends over to dinner, even if the carpet was stained and the sofa faded. I'd probably have ridden in the car with the windows down and never worried about the wind mussing up my hair. I would have eaten popcorn in the good living room and worried less about the dirt when you lit the fireplace. For sure, I'd have taken the time to listen to my grandfather ramble about his youth instead of racing off to the store to pick up dessert. I know I would have burnt the candle that was sculptured like a rose, the one that melted in the attic last summer. I would have cried and laughed less while watching television and, and more while watching real life. And I would have shared more of the responsibility carried by my husband. Oh, Lord. I know for sure I would have eaten less cottage cheese and more ice cream. Probably. I would have gone to bed when I was sick instead of acting like the earth would go into a holding pattern until I returned. And I would never have bought anything just because it was practical and, and guaranteed to last a lifetime. When one of my children kissed me impetuously, I would never have said, oh, stop that, go on up and get washed up for dinner. There would have been more I love you's, more I'm sorry's, more I'm listening's. But mostly, given another year, I would seize every minute of it. I would look at it and really see it. I'd try it on and live it and exhaust it. And never give that minute back until there was nothing left of it. It's a new year. We all have another shot at it.